working on our scale really lends to experimentation, which is the fun part of the process. To use the old analogy, you know, if, if the big Kentucky guys or aircraft carriers were the little PT boat, it's much easier to turn them on a dime. My name is Ryan. I'm the head blender and production manager of Kings County Distillery. Brooklyn is radically changing, and the Navy Yard has been like a really fantastic place to base our business. We kind of think of Kentucky and Tennessee as places where people are distilling, but really before Prohibition, it was all over the country, and even before that, it was in Boston, Philadelphia, and New York. Most unique piece of equipment that I get to use, which is my bung puller. Uh, this is a bung. Uh, this, unfortunately, is the bung hole. Uh, you hear many snickers of that on the tour. Uh, simple, simple procedure. Just gives you leverage to get this wood peg out of a wood hole uh, without throwing your shoulder out most of the time. What I'm trying to do is figure out how these barrels work together. So based on initial nosing of the glasses on their own individually, I've kind of determined that this set is gonna work well together. So what I need to do now before I make the big plunge of dumping all the barrels together in a big holding tank is kind of taste them all in proportion to each other by making this mock blend. To be honest, <clears throat> the entire process is nose. These are all very high proof whiskey. Uh, so if I got to the fifth glass and was tasting, you'd probably be filming me on the floor right there. I'm originally from Baltimore, Maryland. I moved to New York in 2006 uh, to work in the magazine industry. For the five years prior to working at Kings County full-time, I was the production artist for the New Yorker magazine. So I worked on all the covers, cartoons, and images that ran in the weekly magazine. My initial training in college was actually in finance and marketing, and I decided I had wanted nothing to do with that. So I actually switched gears in my senior year, uh, became a uh, graphic artist. I have no formal training in this other than a couple years that I apprenticed with our former head blender. She was a chemical engineer, or is a chemical engineer, so knows a little bit more about maybe the science, whereas I rely more on my palate and uh, probably 600 different whiskeys I've had in my life. I mean, the way I kind of tell it on my tours is that it's an art and a science. On the distillation end, uh, what our distillers do has more to do with the craft and the science. Uh, they're looking at, you know, they have to learn how the equipment functions, how the grain proportions work, how the yeast and the fermentation process happens under different environmental conditions. There's a lot more science involved there. Their craft comes in making the cuts on the still uh, to make sure that there's a consistent product going in the barrel. I think on the back end, on what I do, there's probably a little bit more nuance art to it. Um, in theory, if I get hit by a bus and someone else takes over, the product is gonna change slightly. It's one of the things I love about whiskey is the fact that it's very tied to the people that make it. And each one of these barrels, people, they might look small, but these 10 gallon barrels are probably about 120 pounds. Everything that you see on its side, that's here, down there, and on that side has all been sampled. So now I've got the list of those 50 barrels that I want to dump, and I'm just going to mark them off. The product will then marry in here, meaning all the barrels will kind of mix together, get to know one another uh, for a couple days, and really kind of form that bond and create the blend. Typically, I'm up here, but I don't necessarily want to show that. You know, it really puts time into perspective when you're working with a product like this because every facet of it 
takes a lot of time to perfect. It's a, a true lesson in patience. There's an aspect of whiskey culture that because it does not change, it kind of highlights how much of our lives do change. There's a lot of talk now about rapid aging techniques and it really loses the romance. All of the layers and all of the time and energy it takes to take this silo of grain and get it to this point where these barrels are gonna be dumped, bottled and consumed for people's enjoyment and bring people together. That's, that's what keeps me coming back every day.